keep that going. Your next comedian, another very funny man, George Blaha, everybody. Give it up. All right. How are we doing, Punchline? We're doing good? Doing fine? Fuck yeah. I'm fucking happy to be here, man. Let's get to know each other. A little bit about me. I'm an only child. So if you call me bro, I will get attached. All right? If you're gonna refer to me, take your bros, downgrade them to cuz. Don't make me too excited, okay? Don't get me too excited. I'm working this shit out in therapy, all right? I love how it's completely normal, by the way, for women to transfer their daddy issues into the bedroom. But when I want to transfer my deep desire for an older brother <laughs> into my heterosexual sex life, Things get weird. Feelings get hurt. Like, why is it completely normal for you to call me daddy, but when I want you to call me a little twerp while wearing your hand-me-down clothes, you start packing your things. You order an Uber. Like, why is it completely normal for me to spank you so you can get turned on. But when I want you to put me in a headlock and give me a noogie so I could become fully erect, you tell all your friends. Like, what the fuck is that all about? I'm here honoring your demons. Why the fuck would you honor mine? So selfish, dude. So selfish. The reason why I'm an only child, by the way, is because my dad was really bad at giving dick. It's the only explanation I have, man. It's the only one. If you're an only child, by the way, it's either because of one of two reasons. It's either because your dad has awkward pelvical movements and your mom's really disgruntled, okay? Or because you are ugly as fuck and your parents know it. Those are the only two reasons <laughs> for why you're an only child, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, if your first child is ugly, you and your partner, you're not soulmates, okay? That DNA is not compatible, okay? The universe didn't bring you two together to make repulsive looking people. That's all I'm trying to say. That is my message tonight, all right? I'm 26 years old and I've learned something that women don't know what they want. They don't know what they want. Women say they want a man with a dad bod. You say you want a man with a dad bod. But then you refuse to have patience with my erectile dysfunction? I thought this is what you wanted. Women say they want a guy with a dad bod, but then when I send them naughty pictures with those, Tidy whities with the overstressed waistband and my testicles hanging by the side, you block me? <laughs> this is what you wanted! <laughs> Women say they want a guy with a dad bod, but then they refuse to hold my hand while I'm passing the kidney stone. What the fuck is that all about? I may not have one on the outside, but I definitely have a dad bod <laughs> on the inside. Oh man, there's fucking ads everywhere. You guys get bugged by that? Uh, there's ads everywhere. We even have ads on gas station pumps. Do you know how insane that is? Everywhere, no matter where you go, they're always trying to sell you something. They're always trying to fucking shake you down. We even have ads on porn websites for more porn, more porn. Dude, do you think while I'm jerking off, I'm in the position to make an impulse purchase? You're out of your goddamn mind. Like here I am with my pants around my ankles. My hands are covered with lotion. I'm hanging by the doorknob from my neck. <laughs> and you want me to reach for my credit card? You're out of your goddamn mind, dude. Have you guys seen this one ad, by the way? There's this is one crazy ad that says this game will make you come in 30 seconds. Have you seen that one? That's a wild proposition, dude. Crazy. What if I don't come in 30 
100 seconds. Do I get my credit card information unstolen? What's your return policy? And bro, if I wanted to come in 30 seconds, I'd be having sex. I'd be having sex. I'm just trying to ride this pelvic wave, dude. Stop trying, to, stop, stop trying to kick me out of the server. It's fucked up. So fucked up, dude. Oh, man. I recently broke up with my girlfriend, by the way. Clap it up for that. It's a good breakup. It's a good one. Had to happen. Had to break up with her. She was a squirter. Couldn't stand it, dude. Couldn't stand it. I hate squirters, man. There's nothing that I resent more in a woman than when her pussy has better water pressure than my apartment. Nothing makes me angrier. Like, what are you doing? Are you coming or are you trying to power a slip and slide? What is what these Coca-Cola Mentos orgasms do so unnecessary, dude. So unnecessary. What's fucked up about squirters is that I'm 26 years old, okay? So I only have one change of bed sheets. Okay? You know how much it sucks to have sex and then have to lay on a bare naked mattress like a fentanyl addict? No, dude. No. No more. That bitch is gone, dude. She's gone. And what's fucked up about that too is that like, sure it is 2023, but we still haven't figured out like pussy juice filtration systems in our mattresses. So where do you think all of that goes? Do you think it just dissipates? It just disappears like magic? No. All those juices rest on your coils and it rusts them. It rusts them. This guy no this guy's gone through some mattresses. That's what you get for marrying a squirter, bro. That's what you get. No one tells you that when you get married to a squirter. Okay, if we had mattress insurance, they would ask you, are you married to a squirter? That would drive up your rates, dude. It would drive up your rates. It rusts them, dude. And then when they're out of your life. You're just one day like sleeping six months later after they're gone. You're just shifting positions left and right. And then you hear an eater. <laughs> and you start thinking about them. That's fucked up, okay? That's diabolical. Anyways, my name's George Blaha. You guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you very much. George Blaha, let him hear it.